I'm Ian Thomas with Front Office Sports. I'm joined here by Kristen Bernhardt, Senior Vice President of MSG Sports, uh, where she oversees the business operations of the Rangers, the Knicks, and all the teams in the MSG portfolio. Uh, we're here in the arena right now where you're gonna have two really exciting prospects debuting next year in RJ Barrett with the Knicks and Capo Caco with the Rangers. How does bringing two really exciting young players into both teams impact the business side? Oh, it's immeasurable, you know, to see the excitement of our fan base uh, welcoming both both players uh, was an unbelievable experience. You know, I talked to the staff the next day about, you know, remember that uh, sure. with both with both teams. It was uh, an experience that, that I think our, our fans won't forget and the staff won't forget and definitely uh, Capo and, and RJ won't forget. <laughs> Uh, you know, one of the one of my favorite moments since I've been at MSG was we had a, a draft party for the Rangers, and um, it was there was a you know few thousand people here and, and you know really revved up crowd mm. uh, waiting to to welcome our number two pick. At the time we didn't know who it was going to be. You know, we thought <laughs> it might be Capo, but uh, we brought uh, R.J. Barrett and Iggy, uh, our, our second round pick, mm. onto the stage. And the place just went nuts. Uh, they were chanting R.J. Oh, Barrett, awesome. and you know it was just a, it's like one of those moments only at the Garden. Uh, sure. And for them to have that so early uh, was was actually really cool. So you have two brands like the Knicks and the Rangers that you know, in many ways, are some of the titans of both leagues. You have a really strong fan base. What are some of the things that that you guys are doing to make sure that more fans are coming into the fold, but also that you're strengthening those deep bonds that already exist? Yeah, I mean, it it, it is really about understanding our fans. Mm -hmm. You know, it's about understanding our fans and, and what they expect from us, what they want from us. It's about engaging new fans um, and starting them young. Um, and it's also about making sure when they come to the garden uh, that it's an experience that whether it's their first time here or their 200th time here that it's an experience that it thrills and excites sure. and makes them want to come back again and again. So, you know, knowing who they are is a big part of that. And, and if you don't, you know, I think we have a good feel for who our fans are. Mm -hmm. We've recently done uh, segmentation work around our fan base to, to get them to know them even better so that mm -hmm. we're able to kind of personalize how we speak to them and, and you know, grow through, through those communications and, and different things that we're gonna do around that, the segmentation. So, um, you know, we've, we've, we, we have incredible fan bases. Um, we think there's opportunity to continue to grow even though we have, we have a, a pretty sizable market share here in New York with sure. Bozenix and, and the Rangers. Well, there's some, you guys are doing a lot of work too to expand that, that fan base to more women and, and more young girls and, and through different programs there as well, right? Absolutely, so, you know, particularly, you know, the girls have been playing basketball for, for a long time. The WNBA has been around for sure. 22 years. Um, so that's, it's been a big part of basketball culture. With, with hockey, it hasn't necessarily been that way. And so we are investing quite a bit in getting more girls to play hockey. Mm -hmm. You know, it's an unbelievable sport. Um, you know, the, the teamwork involved in the leadership sure. um, and, you know, just quite frankly, the, the lifetime bonds that they'll make by playing uh, the, the, the game of hockey. Um, we want to get more want to get more girls exposed. So we're launching a, a league, a Junior Rangers league, just so we ha like we have had for a long time uh, oh. for boys. Um, now, now the girls are going to get a chance and we're investing big time behind it. Um, not only is it, you know, a future fan base for us mm -hmm. uh, because we want more women at our games. We want more women following our team. Uh, but quite frankly, it's the right thing to do. Um, and we're excited to do it. I'm sure it's good too. I mean, you see the league in the NHL moving in that direction as well yeah. and expanding its learn to play programs and yeah. getting a more diverse community involved with the game, both in terms of gender and in, in different backgrounds. And it's kind of echoing the things totally. that you guys are doing you know, here in New York. You see, you see when you invest, great things happen. So, you know, Amanda Kessel is going to be a, an ambassador for us, main ambassador for us. And what a I mean, what a wonderful oh, sure. representative uh, for the game of hockey with Amanda, but it just goes to show when you invest, great things can happen. Um, so we're investing in girls, we're investing in different parts of New York uh, that don't have access to ice, mm. or um, that it's just difficult to get there, and we're doing a lot more street hockey and ball hockey. Ball hockey. We have a big partnership in Harlem with the public schools there. So. 
Um, you know, we see hockey as a real growth sport. Um, you know, we continue to grow in, in New York. I think that we grew 5% last year in terms of youth participation great. Uh, in New York City, which, you know, against the, the rest of the country, uh, you know, that was pretty strong. Uh, we want to we want to grow that significantly. Uh, I think that, that there's huge opportunity and uh, we're in it. We're in it. So that, speaking of the, sort of the youth space, obviously MSG Sports get involved in esports as well. Yeah. Uh, What's sort of the impetus there to sort of get into that space, and and what results have you seen thus far with with obviously the the team that's under your, another team that's under yeah. building, if you will. Yeah. So we've invested in two ways. We've invested in a franchise, uh, Counter Logic Gaming. Uh, we're there. We play a variety of sports. We're so esports. We play. Uh, our main sport is uh, League of Legends. Mm -hmm. uh, we have we play Fortnite. We play you know, Smash. Sure. We play uh, Counter Strike Go. And there we actually have a, a, an all women's team, which again oh. we see a huge opportunity to get more girls and women in gaming. Um, and we're, we're we're you know investing more and more behind that too. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, so that's Counter Logic Gaming, and then we also have Nix Gaming, which is sure, our yeah. NBA 2K team. Uh, I, I will brag for a second. We we were the champions last year. Absolutely. Didn't follow yeah. it up so far very well, but uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll take right. that we'll take that championship, that inaugural championship yeah. that no one will ever forget. Uh, but but you know, in terms of our investment there, again, it's these are inaugural franchises. Sure. So the Nix and the Rangers, uh, in original franchises. Uh, we saw esports coming, uh, saw the opportunity. We wanted to be in first, whether it was with League of Legends and getting a, a franchise right away and, and being a part of what we think is going to be a long term investment and a, mm -hmm. a long term growth. Uh, and then Nix Gaming, you know, another inaugural franchise. Yeah. We're in from the beginning um, and we're going to be, you know, with these teams as, in leagues as they grow. How much does it help to have, you know, not only two pro teams like that, but have now these esport teams? And, and how do all the synergies sort of come together to, to improve business operations no, for all of them? It is really fascinating to watch because it's it's really happening organically. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, our players with the Knicks and the Rangers, they love esports. So something as simple as you know, we do a business of basketball every year. Uh, with the Knicks, sure. and this year we brought in gamers, and we talked about the business of esports and how it how it relates to the business of basketball, um, and, and had them interact with the guys, and they're all you know playing and, sure. and you know talking a lot of junk as you can imagine. Um, so just getting that integration, we had an event with uh, Kevin Knox and, and New okay. Egg with Fortnite uh, at the Hulu Theater, which was spectacular. Um, and, and we even we brought in a lot of the same principles when it comes to training an athlete mm -hmm. and transferred them over to esports. Um, and you're training different muscles, right? <laughs> but enough. it's the same principles, sure. and it's the same you know principles around player development. It's the same principles around bringing in the right staff. The same principles around using data and analytics. So there's a lot of, of transferable mm -hmm. things with both traditional sports and esports. And I think with MSG, we've been able to do that fairly successfully so far. Yeah, and I'm sure that's been great for partners of MSG and, and the organization as well. I mean, to have that hit that younger demographic, hit a totally different demographic, not, maybe a non-sports fan that you can bring to be a sports fan. You know, and I think you talk to a lot of marketers and if you say that you're, you know, you have an esports team, you're like, what, what <laughs> you know, tell me more about it. And so, sure. uh, you know, for, for us, we have, you know, a reputation and have a lot of trust with, with our marketing partners. Mm -hmm. So we're able to guide them in ways that, you know, we understand what they're trying to accomplish because we've been working with them for years and understand their KPIs and their business objectives. They can trust that we're going to deliver. Um, so for us, that's been a seamless transition okay. and we've been able to get you know, partners like a Spectrum, partners like a Squarespace, Pepsi mm -hmm. is very involved with CLG and, it, and for them it, it creates a well-rounded portfolio just coming through us as kind of one-stop shop to get you know, NBA, NHL, eSports all in one.